Sun Still Shines, written by John Waters and Tommy Morn. Please welcome Crystal Swing. <laughs> Say I love the speed of sweet feeling, sweet without feeling. You might be right, but down our streets, those bells are peeling, and my heart's screaming. You're gonna be another man's wife. You said our love was headed from heaven. Sun still shines, I can't see why. And the outlook for these eyes is just to cry, cry, cry. I'm so hard, so no words can console me. But you don't. What went wrong? Our heavenly passion went out of fashion. You said that's a lie. Now those bells, they show no compassion. So it's gonna happen. Gonna be another man's wife. Sun still shines. I don't know why. And those birds don't seem to. Just fly, fly, fly. I'm so lonesome. I could cry for my country. Is you gonna be another man's spouse? You are the world. Who am I one and only? But you left me lonely. You made your call. Now the whole fail. There we This is actually the first time you guys have met, isn't it? Yes. First time we've met. Yeah. John, that's the first time you've seen the song performed. It is, yeah. It what do you think? Fantastic. It's fantastic, Thanks. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It, it is a fabulous song, Brendan. It, it's fantastic, yeah. but I, I also think that I think you really did it justice. I think it brings out an, a different note in you as well, a yeah. kind of a, I don't know, something I haven't seen before, which is yeah. it's not so cheesy, maybe, and a bit more yeah, heartfelt. And, yeah, it is a yeah. beautiful song, because John and Tommy sent on that song to us there about a year and a half ago, it must have mm. been, John, you know? And we just knew from the beginning that there was something really special about that song. Yeah. But we said, look, you know, there was a lot happening in our lives at the time, so we said, look, let's put it on hold 
and you know the right time will come to you know to 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 bring it out and of course we got great musicians like um we had Tony, Tony Maher, Maher and Frankie and Cornyn and, yeah, and all the lads. And all and all it's just brilliant. It, it turned brilliant. out fantastic. Yeah. We were but delighted the with song, it. it just the fantastic. minute we heard it, we loved it. So yeah. thanks very yeah. much. Yeah. 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 Um, and listen, guys, you, you were saying there you've been, you've been busy. Derek, you, you've had a mad year of it again, yeah? You've yeah, been, it's, been, it's been... You're just it's back from cruising yeah, with we were, Daniel, is that right? That's right, yeah. We were off cruising with We Daniel and a host of other stars all around the Caribbean. And we just had, it was a fantastic experience, you know, and like, geez, we could have never dreamed two years ago that we would have been doing all of this, like, and yeah. we yeah. are, like, and, like, we're, we're off over to London straight, we're straight on a plane after this, now we're in Trafalgar Square tomorrow, again, for this big St. Patrick's Festival that's going on there all weekend, and we're there tomorrow, Perfect. and it's just about having a roller coaster of a and time, like. you've been all around the States, Europe, Dubai, Yeah, well, like, I mean, it's crazy, we've done so much travelling in a short space of time, you know, and, like, there's still so many things happening for us, we've seen, like, so many parts of the world that we never dreamed of. And you toured with Bonnie Tyler as well? Yeah, Bonnie Tyler came over to Ireland and she knew that, um, you know, we had brought out her you song, Total Eclipse of the, the Heart, and like she loved it and she brought us on her tour when she came to Ireland, then got to meet her and the, like I'm a huge fan of hers because like she sings the big power ballads and they're, yeah. th that's what I love at heart, so I couldn't believe it, really enjoyed it. Fantastic. Yeah. And listen, um, can, can I ask you, Mary, it's been probably to the week about two years yes. since you really kicked off big time in the late late and all that. Yeah. And I, this is this is something that you you you've never shared with people before. But actually, in a way, you could call what happened that time a kind of a miracle. Yes. Yeah. I I really feel this was a little miracle that happened to us, Brendan. Um, I, I have always had great devotion, particularly to Our Lady and also to the Sacred Heart. And you know, I would have over the years gone into the church and said a few prayers. And I often visited this beautiful little, um, you know, statue down in Mount Millery and oh, yeah. um, just go down there and say a few prayers and always got really felt that I just got something out of it. But um, uh, amazingly enough, uh, about two weeks before this particular visit to Mount Millery, I, I felt a, no, a need to go into the church to pray more often I, than I had done before. And each time I went in, I felt that, um, I, I, you know, my prayer, I just felt there was somebody listening to me. So we decided to go down to Mount Millery and my prayers on that day, there was actually a lady it's a long story really but there was a lady praying on her own there was nobody else there it was about two or three in the day and she was praying on her own Dervila and Mike were with me and um, she was there she was praying all on her own and um, we started saying the rosary with her and before we knew it we had three rosaries said but uh, during that, uh, those prayers, she said these very, very special little prayers in between, you know, and, you know, brought us into that prayer. And I just felt something, something touched me that day. And what were you praying for? My prayer that day was that Derek would get a break in the music business. And I also prayed that maybe he might get to sing one song at the Cork Opera House. And, of course, I prayed, never, ever thinking it would happen, that maybe someday just by chance he might get to go on the Late Late Show. Yeah. Now, and the Saturday night. Following week. <laughs> two Wait, days. Was I? <laughs> <laughs> but the, the, the twist was, two days later, I got a call from the Late Late Show to ask Derek, or to ask us to come on the Late Late Show, plus every newspaper, everything in the country. And about six or seven weeks that. later, we got to do our full show in the Cork Opera House. So I definitely think, Brendan, oh, I, I can honestly swear oh. by it that something special happened in Mount Millery that day for us. Here, it, I, I, on the eve of Mother's Day, Derek, don't you have a great mammy, don't you? I don't you? have a great mammy, like, exactly. Most yeah. mothers are praying their son will never <laughs> get into showbiz. <laughs> right, yeah. to yeah. get into it. <laughs> we'll get into it. I know, I know she's been brilliant. And only for praying that day I mightn't be sitting here either, you know? <laughs> That's another way of looking at it. But yeah. no, we yeah. have had a roller coaster of yes. two years, you know, we really, really have. And and, and Dervley, your dad, of course, is on the road full time, which you know he's given up the feed factory and he's, yeah. so he, it's a f full family affair yeah, now. Yeah, that's right. He gave up his job kind of when the whole thing took off because we needed someone as well. We kind of couldn't manage it all on our own. And there he, he does Mike the sound there. for us. He's in the audience hey, there somewhere. He's the shy one. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so he's great. So uh, he listens to all our giving out and he takes, 
he takes all the slack from all of us, so you know, he needs some credit as well. Good man, but I presume he's being well looked after. Right? After, yeah. <laughs> John, um, just be, before we finish up, I, I want to ask you, uh, the Crystal Swing have clearly, like, they would have been pr probably rubbished by a lot of critics and, you know, the cynical element in the media and that kind of thing. They have touched a real chord with the, with the people of Ireland yeah. right now, haven't they? They have, yeah. well, I, As a deep thinker, why, why do you think that is? Why have they become such a special, important thing? I, I don't think it's so deep, you know. I mean, they have a great sense of fun. They have, you know, really kind of... They, they kind of... They harmonise with, with Irish sensibilities. You know, they're actually in tune with the kind of... The, the mentality of Ireland, the kind of outlook of Ireland in a way that kind of more supposedly sophisticated bands can't connect with. And, and I, I, I just think they have an innocence and a, a fun and, a, and an intelligence as well that, that kind of, you know, yeah. can go a long, long way, you know, because they kind of, they, they kind of inhabit a song. Like the way they sang that song, like it was like they were enjoying it. They weren't kind of just singing it. They were actually in it, you know, and they were, yeah. they were playing it and they were, it was there, it was live. You know, I, I recognise it, like every, every yeah. part of it, you know. Yeah, and I think you're right. It's a lot, a lot more intelligent and a lot more real than a lot of people give it credit for. I have to say, guys, uh, if you're lucky with that song, I could see it being a huge smash hit. John, well done. It's a brilliant Thank song. You. And guys, I think you, you, you did Thanks it brilliantly. It really is great. Thank Ladies you, and gentlemen, John Waterman. Thank you. Thank you. And Sun Still Shines is available to buy on iTunes now. And the video is being launched live on YouTube straight after the show. And find out loads more about it on crystalswing.com.